Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mother of the bride or mother of the groom look. And you guys know my son got married and we went to Colombia. I was there for 12 days. It was amazing. Colombia is so beautiful. And the house that we stayed at was amazing. It was breathtaking. Uh, there was 14 of us staying at this house. It was big enough for all of us. And it was just, oh my gosh one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It was on a mountain and it was just, the weather was always like during the day, it was like low 70s, high 60s, and at night was in the mid to high 50s, but it was just beautiful. The only thing I don't like was bugs. Wow, I, they had a field day with me. I have bug bites everywhere. So that's why I'm wearing long sleeve because my arms are covered in bug bites. They're finally starting to fade, fade away now, but wow, my son and I were we were breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the mosquitoes. But anyways, if you like to see how I created this look, and I did, um, this is the, the look that I created with my high-end products, and then I created on this side a drugstore dupe using basically the same, as you can tell. You, I don't know, I really can't tell if I didn't tell you which was drugstore, which is high-end. So if you like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so we're going to do the drugstore is going to be on the left side and the high end is going to be on the right side. And I already used a primer and I used the Revlon Prime Plus on this side, which is supposed to be um, uh, reduces the pores on your side, on your face. And then I used the um, Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas on the right side and it does the same thing. They're very similar when you put them on so that's what i used all right so for the left side i'm going to start with that one i'm going to use the um maybelline fit me matte and poreless and i'm not sure if the shades are going to be the same but this should be pretty um pretty similar and i'm going to do that on this side of the face and I do have um, enough brushes that I should, shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to use this one. This is the uh, BK Beauty. And um, I'm going to use this one on this side. So uh, the wedding, you guys know I went to Columbia for two weeks. Uh, it was 10 days, 12 days. And um, the main reason was my son was getting married in the Catholic Church over there. Her family, Christina, my daughter-in-law, her family lives there. So they got married. Um, they had their civil wedding here in November. And they had a beautiful wedding then. And then we went to Columbia so that her parents could be present during the church wedding so and it was a beautiful beautiful wedding my husband and i i'm trying to build it a little bit right here where where i have the hyperpigmentation my husband and i um we were the padrinos which is like um the godparents i guess for the wedding because we we're married in the church so they asked us if my son and his wife asked us if we wanted to be um uh, instead of having a best man and a matron of honor they only had the the children walking the wedding and then we were like their i guess their best man and matron of honor and we got to sign the the actual certificate for their wedding um so it was very special um it was nice for them to have access to do that and um definitely felt like a very special moment i'm using the pixie uh corrector to try to lighten up the kind of mess that got on my nose. This dark cavern right here and a little bit like right here. I'm not gonna put it all over, but mainly where the darkest area is. So the wedding was gorgeous and um, of course that wedding day is getting prepared for it. It's a little nerve-wracking especially for the bride right because you're trying to make sure that everything goes right and um it was just really really sweet okay and then for the right side um the foundation that i took was the nars 
this is the light reflecting foundation and I love this I actually took I took a couple they I have the full size of this but when I purchased it they gave me this to you know free I don't know what the this is another clean brush same brush but clean the other one was a mini travel size and this one is just regular size anyway they send that to me also so i like to take those little ones when i go traveling and actually when i use it all up i'm going to keep the little bottle i'm going to clean it and when i travel again i'll just pour some of the foundation but i had taken with me the um this one right here what is this the lisa eldridge and i used it a couple of times while i was there but the day of the wedding i decided to use this one I felt like this one had um, a longer wear time and it was more coverage so and wow and it's also waterproof and it was so hot in the church that I am very very glad that I used this because I, I would I was dying and I thought my makeup was just melting right off my face and when we got to the reception i went to the bathroom and i looked and everything looked beautiful nothing had moved so i was very like glad that i used that one and then i'm using the bobby brown corrector on this side of the face so for the drugstore i'm going to use the maybelline uh, this is the h rewind concealer I haven't used this in a little while, so I'm going to have to wind it quite a bit. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's out. And I'm going to use this brush. This is a it Cosmetics brush. So, um, initially, I was thinking of doing a... A different look altogether but then one day doing um, before the wedding I went ahead and I and this is a different brush I went ahead and I practiced that the look I was gonna do and I really didn't care for it that much so um, I decided to change it totally the day of the wedding and I'm glad I did it was I don't know I just liked it more Okay, I'm going to use, which is what I did the day of the wedding. I'm going to, oh gosh, I, you know what I just did? I just put this concealer. I have such a hard time remembering. Okay, this is the concealer that I was going to use on this side. This is the, um, the one size. I'm going to use just a little bit. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, the day of the wedding, I had loaned, um, I changed brushes, but I didn't change the concealer. I had loaned my I had taken the ABH eye primer and um, my daughter-in-law did not have an eye primer uh, eyeshadow primer so I went ahead and like I gave it to her so that she could use it so I just used concealer that day on my eyes which is no big deal she had her makeup professionally done and she had asked me if I wanted it done and I told her no because um, Anytime that I have my makeup done by a professional, I never like it. So um, I went ahead and I told her, nope, that's okay, I'll do it. Left side, I'm going to use the Halo, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And see if I remember to just do it on one eye this time. This is a very nice powder. And I'm actually going to use it um, all over my face. I'm going to use this brush right here. You can also use this as a finishing powder because it has like a very nice finish. It's not matte. So you can also use this powder. And on the right side, I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury powder which is what I used the day of the wedding and I did use it all over my face 
and I'm using the BK Beauty. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the eyes. So I took um, a couple of different palettes. I'm going to do another video showing you exactly what I took to um, makeup I took on my trip. So I'm not going to show you everything that I took. But this is the palette that I used the day of the wedding. This is by Nabla. And this is called the Nabla Read My Mind palette. And I went with pinky shades. This is a, be a beautiful palette. It is not... The... the, the um, shadows are not buttery but they're not also super dry there's no fallout and it creates a gorgeous look but if you like just buttery uh, shadows i don't think that palette does that and then i'm going to use on the drugstore side i'm going to use la girl la girl nudie cutie palette and i was able this one has a lot of the rosy shades that is on the other palette so uh, let me start. I think I'm going to do like this eye first so I don't get confused and then I'll do the other eye because I know if I go back and forth, I'm going to get very, very confused. So I'm going to start with this shade right here. And oh, the way that it goes, it says this is a scarlet, this is rose, this is um, sage, and this is honey, the rose. See, I was going to go in the wrong eye. Okay, then I'm going to go a little darker. I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to make sure that... Okay, I don't think I have that quite that shade. So I'm going to go with this one instead. But I just thought I'd show you how you can create the same look using a less expensive palette because um, not everybody, right, has a high-end palette. So I wanted you to see that. Okay, I'm going to do those two shades on this side. So I'm going to start with this one right here. I decided not to do the entire eye because I can see me getting all confused as to what shades I used. So we got in, um, today is Tuesday and we got in last Thursday night. Um, we didn't get home till like 11 o'clock at night because we flew into Orlando and then we had to drive home. Okay, and now I'm going to use this one right here, the darker shade. And um, the, the grandkids flew with us flew back with us um my two younger grandkids because um, my son and his wife they went on their honeymoon so um i've been like super tired i did a lot of walking and you know what i was really surprised um i'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here on the outer v right here um when i the week before we left my left knee was in excruciating pain i could barely walk i have arthritis all over my body guys it's not just my back but i mean i have it everywhere i had a knee replacement like six years ago okay and now i am going to use this one on this side so um it was really hurting so that friday we flew out on a saturday so that friday i went to um florida orthopedic and they have an urgent care and they gave me a steroid injection on my knee and actually it helped a lot i'm using the drugstore dipped it in that brown the drugstore brown again so when i got to um the flight was fine, nothing hurt, nothing bothered me. And when I got to, oops, when we got to um, Columbia, um, I was pretty much pain free. I guess being able to walk correctly because my knee wasn't bothering me, it really helped with my back. 
So now I am going to use this color right here in my, um, right here. So pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. And I'm going to use the brush that I was using, the brown, just to kind of mix those two together. And then I am going to use this gold right here on the inner corner. I may have to mix another color with this one because I don't have the exact color on the uh, on the other palette. Okay, so let's go to the other palette. I'm going to use this one. this one right here. Is it that one? I think it's that one. We'll see. So, anyways, um, I felt wonderful for like four days. I was pretty much pain free, which I could not believe it. I haven't been pain free in a long time. Our bedroom was on the second floor, and I was able to go up the steps and everything without a problem. Okay, then I'm going to use. This, I don't know if this is gold, but I'm going to try to use this one right here on the inner corner. I may have to mix that with something else. Let me see if I can mix it with this one. See if it matches. So, um, yeah, I felt really, really good. Then after about four days, my pain started coming back. But it has never come back as bad as... It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. It has not come back as bad as the first pain that I had before. So I was able to function. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to take the dark brown. And uh, yeah, it felt, I felt pretty good. So the day of the wedding, I'm going to take the dark brown. This is with the high end. I was able to function. And... Um, and everything so I was very very happy that that worked out so I'm going to take um, this little brush right here this is a I don't remember what brand it is it doesn't have it I think it's profusion I'm going to take the dark brown and just put some here and then I'm going to take another this is Milani brush I'm going to take the dark, dark brown in the Nabla palette and okay I'm going to take a little bit where is my concealer of the concealer and um just put it here so that I can clean up what I went you know the part that I kind of like went too far with my shadow there and where is the other one here we go from a lot the uh Maybelline and I want to take the other brush the mini one Again, this is with no additional um, product. I'm going to take, this is the one for this side, and this is the one for this side. Okay, well, I didn't bring two mascaras, so I'm just going to use the one mascara that I brought. I've been using the Bite um, mascara, which I love, but you guys can use it. Whatever mascara you like. But this one is amazing. And it's on sale 50% off at Bite because they're going out of business. So I guess until they run out, I just order some more. So they still have some. I ordered some yesterday. Because my daughter in law forgot mascara. So I gave her mine. Uh oh. I thought I just got it on my nose. Look at that.
And I also didn't bring a drugstore uh, brow product, but you guys, you know I use drugstore brows all the time. I use the e.l.f. Uh, I use CoverGirl, Maybelline, so that's just whatever you like to use. This is just the main stuff that I wanted to create a drugstore look so that you guys can see the palette, the foundation. I mean, the Maybelline foundation is just as heavy duty as, as the um, NARS. I mean, it's long lasting, it, you know, lasts for hours. It's a foundation that you can depend on. And just a little bit on my lower lashes. I actually use my Thrive Cosmetic on my lower lashes because that one does not, it's, you know, it's a tubing mascara and it doesn't smudge. And uh, if you sweat or cry or whatever, it doesn't go anywhere. Actually, that day what I did is I used it on my lower lashes and then I did like one coat on top of this one so that in case I cried or anything like that, um, it wouldn't go anywhere, which I didn't cry. But wow, did I sweat. So I was very glad that I did that. All right, so for my brows, what I used was the um, Kosas, but I'm only gonna use today the, the liquid one. I'm not gonna use the pencil. I did use a pencil that day. But today I don't feel like messing with the pencil. I want this to be a pretty quick look. And this darkens my brows enough that I really don't need a pencil. All right. Now, for blush, uh, first, first of all, bronzer. For bronzer, what I used that day was my Gucci bronzer. This is such a beautiful bronzer. This was my Mother's Day gift to myself because it's beautiful and I really wanted it. So I'm going to use... Wait, I brought another brush that I wanted to use for that. I brought two similar brushes. Okay, I'm gonna use this one for the bronzer. This is so pretty. And for the other side, I'm gonna use my Essence. This is a beautiful bronzer. And that day I did wear a wig, but I am not actually I wore a wig for half the night. I was so hot in the reception that um, I went inside and I took my wig off and I fluffed my hair and I put the headband on and that was it because I couldn't stand it. And it's funny, it took my husband like a couple of hours. Didn't weren't you wearing a wig earlier? So observant. Okay, and when I use on this side, on the on that night I used this um this is Warm Soul from MAC, and this is such a pretty blush. It's so, so pretty. It's neutral, um, it's beautiful, and I love it, and it's never too much, and I wanted just something to, I didn't want to go like really pink or anything. I just wanted something that was going to give me a little neutral uh, color to my, to my cheeks, and um, I look pretty. I didn't want it to be, you know, like super bam. But this is very, very, very beautiful. And for the drugstore, I'm going to use my Kiko Milano. This guy's this line is really, really nice. And this one, as you can see, is also like neutral. It has a mirror, which the MAC one doesn't. And I'm going to use the other side of the brush. And it's pretty similar the color see so oh I almost did it I almost went on that side with it all right and for 
I use this as my, uh, this is the M Cosmetics Clarity, and it's, um, this is M Cosmetics, isn't it? Yes. And the shade is Clarity. It's a Sunscape Highlighter. And let's find a little brush for that. I'm going to use the one I use for the powder. Look how pretty that is. So subtle, so pretty. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to take my blush brush and just go with the edge there. Okay, and let's find the one that I used, that I'm going to use is the uh, Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter, and this is in Supreme Rose Beam. And if you see, they're kind of similar. When you put them on your face, they look the same. This is also very soft and very subtle, and it just looks beautiful. So, see how pretty that looks. All right, now for lipstick. This is Essence Waterproof. I think this is the one I used that day. Okay, and let me pull a lipstick out. I'm going to use a Milani lipstick. I'm going to use this one right here that is called I Am Confident. Guys, the um camera turned off but I think you didn't miss anything so this is the completed look now that day I actually did not wear this lipstick I wore one by um, Chanel but I don't have it um, so I decided to use this one but this one is a little dark the one that I wore had a little more pink in it and it wasn't quite so dark let me see if I can find some kind of a lip gloss that I can put on that lighten it up a little bit let me see what is this one let's see if i can put a little bit of this on top if it will make it a little lighter because this is a little dark not really i mean it wasn't a light it was not a nude lipstick that i had because i i don't think i look good in nude lipsticks but it wasn't quite this dark. But this is basically the look, and I think that you can see that you can create just as beautiful look with a drugstore as you can with a high end. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to put some winning pictures at the end in case you guys are interested in watching, seeing some of the pictures. I didn't wanna put them in here because um, I just thought it'd be better to put them in the end. If you guys don't are not interested, you don't have to watch them. But if you do, then, you know, you, I'll have some at the end. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I've really, truly missed you. I love you, and I'm glad to be back. Bye. Mwah.